Hello, this is Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies. Welcome to our video series called Peppers 101. In this video series, which will be probably by the end of 2024, 2025, we hope to have anywhere between 250 to 300 informational, educational videos on chilies that will hopefully inspire you to grow and cook with different kinds of chilies expand your horizons and we hope you share that information with other people because most people know just bells and jalapenos and that's it and there's a world of flavor of diverse flavor waiting out there for them to discover <clears throat> and myself and you and everybody else can uh, open these people's minds to that broaden their flavor horizons also I want to say that uh, Gardening is a beautiful, stress-relieving thing, but it's also growing food, especially in today's economy, is a worthwhile thing to do. Even if you save, you know, 30 bucks, 50 bucks off your grocery bill here and there, it all adds up. So, one thing we should be doing is teaching our children about growing food and gardening. So you as parents or grandparents or uncles or aunts or even if you're a neighbor of some kids and you've got a garden, get your children into the garden. Get them into the garden and especially when they're little, let them experience the miracle of seeing something grow from a seed all the way to a fruit or a vegetable. It's a valuable lesson you'll teach them. It'll help them to become a, a, an adult with a better work ethic. They'll know how to grow food. And then take them into the kitchen if you can, especially, especially if it's your own child. And bring them into the kitchen and let them help you at their level, you know, younger. You'll have to be more careful with, with knives and hot stoves and stuff like that. But bring them into the kitchen and let them experience the preparation and cooking of food that you just grew in the garden. <clears throat> take them from the whole process from the seed to the dinner table it's something they'll never forget and it'll be a legacy they'll pass down to their children's children also studies show that when you spend time with your children not just sitting around by them watching a TV show but when you spend time with them doing things building something fixing something or growing and cooking something it enhances their life they become a much better adult they do better in school, they do better in work, they do better in relationships when they get older. So, get your kids into the garden and get them into the kitchen. So, right now we're looking at a Native American Pueblo chili. They don't have reservations in New Mexico. They're called Pueblos. And the, most of these Pueblos are in the Rio Grande Valley, scattered out from southern Mexico, New, Me New Mexico, all the way to north New Mexico, uh, close to the Colorado border. And this is the Zio Pueblo chili. The Native American Zio Pueblo is located in the Sierra Nascimiento Mountains, about 35 miles northwest of Albuquerque. And it's about 5,000, above 5,000 sea level. Most of the Pueblos are above sea level. The Zia Indian Pueblo emblem for the Pueblo is used on the flag and the license plates of those who reside in the state of New Mexico. The symbol's ancient and reflects many things about the Indian philosophy. The scenery is amazing and the Pueblo has been used to make a lot of films or the, the land around the, the surrounding the Pueblo like and I don't know if, I don't know all of these films but a few of them are dead in the lot or alive Desperado 2, Earth 2 and the New Eden. The Zia Pueblo also makes the most unique football, college football trophy. Those of you familiar with college, familiar with college football know that college football, <laughs> when they have the bowl games, and not all of them are the championship, but they're the, the reward for kids who've got enough wins to play in a bowl game. Well, the New Mexico Bowl, when you win that trophy, that trophy has been made by the Indians of the Zia Pueblo. So it's a very unique tro trophy. It's not made by a factory or some manufacturing facility. It's actually made by the Indians of the Zia Pueblo. The Zia Pueblo, it claims to be the hottest, even though the Pueblo chilies 
are not really hot. They range from almost no heat to pretty much just above average jalapeno heat. But the Zia Pueblo chili has been measured at the New Mexico State University and showed it to be about 20,000 Scoville units of heat, where jalapenos can be like six to 10,000 or more. It's got a nice sweet flavor. It's great for roasting or stuffing while green. When it gets red, it will uh, get a little bit more hotter and get a little bit more of sweetness. We describe it as a savory, nutty flavor. And it's uh, pretty productive. But when they turn red, the flesh starts to get thinner. These aren't like some of the other Native American chilies. They get really thin. Still a good wall thickness on this chili here. <laughs> but a lot of Native Americans, you're going to want to roast when they're green or when they're st or cooking with them. If you're going to roast them, roast them or stuff them, I'll say. You want to wait till they get uh, just a little bit of red on them and then pick them and then use them. Because uh, a lot of them, not the Zia, but a lot of them will get like really, the, as the walls just kind of evaporate, the thickness, the flesh evaporates and it gets thin. So the only thing you can really do is use them dried and cooking then or make into powders, or make into a chili paste with the powder. So this is the average size of the Zia Pueblo. The plants can get four or five feet tall. Like other Pueblo chilies, they're, they're kind of vine-like. Looking over here, here's another Pueblo chili, not the Zia. And you can see how the, the, the branches are kind of like wavering down like a vine. So a lot of Pueblo chili farms, they'll just let the chilies flop onto the ground and grow along the ground. They won't even bother to stake them. But I'm staking them here because I have a lot of flowers over here, as you can see. A lot of flowers that are going to turn into chilies. And if I don't tie them off, the branches off, they're going to fall and break. Now, with a lot of the Pueblo chilies, if they fall and break while the chili's green, that's fine because they're still flavorful when they're green. But if there's a lot of other chilies, and I can tell you, and I'll you'll tell you in certain videos, that if they don't ripen to full color, they don't have the peak flavor. So you want to make sure your branches are tied up or secured so you don't lose the, the chilies before they hit the full color and peak flavor. So they ripen to red, pretty easy to grow. It's a delicious chili. The Zia Pueblo, part of our American heritage because it's Native American chili. So a uh, little quick story I'll tell you and then I'll finish the video. Years ago I got these seeds from a seed saving organization that's trying to pre preserve native vegetables, not just chilies. And uh, they only gave me a couple seeds and I produced a bunch of chilies and I sent them a few thousand seeds back and then they took those seeds and they gave them to the farmers in the Zia Pueblo because the goal is to try to preserve these chilies and not let them disappear and that's a true story so I'm very proud of that and uh, my Native American chilies aren't big sellers because they're not super popular but even though they're not so popular I still want to keep them going as long as I can because I don't want them to disappear so try some Native American chilies. They have a nice, savory, nutty flavor. Well, it's, it's way different than other chilies, the flavor. I just, it's hard to describe. And you'll be preserving Native American chilies and the heritage of them. This is Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies. Have a great day. And this is the Zia Pueblo.